Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be asking ChatGPT to control a day in my life. I asked it to give me a productive daily schedule and it told me to wake up at 6.30 a.m. Let's eat breakfast. Oh my gosh, I didn't do my dishes last night. So if you guys didn't know, ChatGPT is like an AI chatbot that gives you answers to all of your questions. It's honestly really nice. I asked ChatGPT to give me a healthy meal plan. So it told me exactly what I should eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with snacks in between, which is so nice because I hate planning for meals. <laughs> I did some scrambled eggs with vegetables and avocado toast. I need to grow up and learn how to eat bell peppers. I asked ChatGPT for the best skincare routine for a 25 year old with oily skin. For my morning skincare routine, it told me to cleanse, tone, serum moisturize and sunscreen i probably only do two of those on a daily basis maybe i don't have oily skin but usually i don't cleanse in the morning i just go in with these toner pads and wipe off the excess gunk but it's telling me to cleanse <laughs> Honestly, that was really refreshing. I kind of needed that. I look like a glazed donut. Very shiny. Done with my makeup. My hair is a mess. Just wearing something really basic today. I'm wearing this top with some jeans. I'm actually pretty late. I don't know how this happened, but I'm supposed to get to campus 30 minutes before my class. That's definitely not happening anymore. I don't know where she came from. Kinda turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I asked ChatGPT to give me some good song choices to listen to during my commute, and it gave me a list of songs that I made into a playlist. I'm going to be listening to this. Smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about. And I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. North That's how you know you've been in love. North There's something about the way she laughs and the way she always dances when she thinks nobody sees. She's gonna miss her so I tell her baby please don't go I think you should stay with me And I I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh and I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? You felt like you were I'm back at home. Um, I forgot to take my snack to school, so I'm gonna eat it right now. So this is an apple and some unsalted almonds, except these are lightly salted because I couldn't find unsalted almonds. You 
said it was the last time But you keep coming back to tell me Sorry that you take back All the things you said just to hurt me I love just went cold But I'm still burning I love just went cold Why? I have this paper that I need to write by tonight and I'm kind of stressed I changed into my workout clothes. I asked ChatGPT for a beginner full body workout routine and it gave me a pretty comprehensive routine. So I'm going to be following this and I'm also going to be listening to the playlist that it recommended for my workout. Let's do this. I just came back from the gym and it's snack time again. I am curious about this combination. I'm supposed to eat one serving of low-fat cottage cheese with half a cup of sliced strawberries. I've never had that before. I haven't had cottage cheese in forever. Like, this is not my go-to type of cheese to eat. I'm assuming it's gonna taste good because cheese and strawberries, that's a bomb combination. I'm really not hungry. I'm usually a two meal per day type of person. So having to eat three meals plus three snacks in between is just a little bit too much for me. I feel like I'm wasting time eating. <laughs> Definitely more than half a cup of strawberries. Okay, the moment of truth. Those are candles, by the way. Mmm. Interesting. Cottage cheese actually doesn't taste that cheesy. Kind of tastes like yogurt. This kind of slaps. Guys, guess what time it is. It's dinner time. I can't keep up with this meal plan, guys. I'm literally... So full. This meal is fun because I get to eat salmon and I actually really like salmon. ChatGPT didn't really schedule me time to eat my snacks or anything. So uh, we're kind of off schedule. <laughs> it's okay. I sent over a very rough draft of my paper so I don't have to work on that anymore today. So I'm pretty much done with work for today. For dinner, I'm gonna have grilled salmon, one cup of roasted or steamed broccoli. This is interesting because I hate broccoli but I bought broccoli just for this video. Can I just eat this? I mean, that wasn't bad. I don't know why I reacted that way. The paper that I just submitted was ass, like absolute ass, but I was just like, I don't want to work on this anymore. I worked on it all day yesterday and all day today, so it is what it is. I honestly don't care. concerned about the salmon because is salmon supposed to smell bad? Ooh, okay, we might have a problem here. My salmon might not be good to eat. I took it out of the package because it came in a pack of two and I ate one and then I put this. I Am I stupid for this? Can raw salmon last four days in the fridge? Oh shit, it says no. Okay, well, all signs are pointing to I should not eat that. Wait, let me smell it again. I 
I have these soy sauce braised beans, so I might use this as an alternative protein option. We can go vegetarian for a meal. Broccoli, avocado, black beans, and quinoa. I'm actually gonna be eating this snack with the dinner. It's one serving of Greek yogurt and blueberries. <laughs> the blueberries look like black beans. What K-drama should I watch on Netflix? I want rom-com. I've really been into the romance K-dramas recently. I used to think they were so cheesy. I like to watch them because I literally have no love life, so it helps me feel something I could never feel. I've literally watched all of these. So it's recommending Crash Landing on You, which I watched. What's Wrong with Secretary Kim? I would definitely watch that. It's Okay to Not Be Okay? I watched that one. Love Alarm? Okay, I have not watched Love Alarm, so maybe I'll watch that. I didn't know Sung Gong was in this K-drama. Like, I'm so much more excited now. <laughs> I got this in the mail today. It is a hydrating argan oil mask. It smells so good. For the nighttime skincare routine, ChatGPT told me to double cleanse, which I already do when I put on makeup. For the first step of double cleansing, I'm gonna use this cleansing balm. Honestly, I'm just gonna go in with my own skincare routine. I like to go in with this two to three times. Kuldar vegan rice milk, I love this. It's so good. Lip sleeping mask. And I always put on some type of eye cream. This is a retinoid eye balm. Mm -hmm. 